Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Come to the kids. You came by to see mom. She's not here? Where's she at? In Missouri. What's she doing there? Well, she's living with Lorinda's mom, who's taking care of her. Really? Yeah. Well, how long has she been there? Uh, about a year. Really? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Don't the case you came by to see mom. Brother was on a mission to take his family out. In this news article clip right here that we looking at it from the ring doorbell, man, this dude literally drove about 700 to 800 miles, about 12 hours to come and do the unthinkable to his family. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Come to the kids. You came by to see mom. She's not here? Where's she at? In Missouri. What's she doing there? Well, she's living with Lorinda's mom, who's taking care of her. Really? Yeah. Well, how long has she been there? Uh, about, a, about a year. Really? <laughs> I mean, bros, drivers, let's, let's, let's unpack this. This is a lot to unpack because I went back and watched the video again to, to probably understand the mindset of, of this terrible, terrible man. Obviously, he must have been in his feelings about his family for a long, long, long time. You know, it, it says in the article that him and his brother was estranged for years. Now, what went on with this man to have him to 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 drive all the way here to Utah to just to come and unalive his brother? I I really just don't know. But he came prepared. This man came prepared, bro. He came prepared. With not only one handgun, but he came prepared with two handguns, a shotgun, a whole bunch of ammunitions, and about a dozen shotgun shells. Like, what this dude was on a mission to do when he got to this house. Now, initially, in the, con I mean, in the article, it says, brother came to unalive his brother. But imagine... I went back and I listened, and the first thing he says, hey, is mom here? And his brother was like, nah, you know, mom's up in up in Missouri. But imagine if the moms was there. Imagine if the moms was there. His mission was to not only come and unalive his brother, but he was going to unalive his mother, too, if she was there. Like, he came to do physical harm to his family. Now, there's lots more to this, right? Especially when the cops came because the, the, the people next door, they dialed 911. Cops came up on the scene, and dude came out like the wild, wild west. I'm talking about, like, shootout at the OK Corral with the police. So his objective was to probably unalive himself if the police didn't do it for him. That's crazy. Drivers. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember 
the the driver that drove uh, I forget where he was at, but he drove all the way down to California, like clear across 80 to go and put hands on another driver because uh, because of the beef those two was having online. Now, again, like I said, we, we, we don't know the basis, but according to the article, this man has been Saudi grumpy just miserable at life where he was in california i believe the people in california didn't even mess with this man it was like this dude you know he we, we just left him alone because we knew something was wrong with this cat and imagine how long this was festering in this dude i mean he even looks like well, I, I don't know. I can't say I, I can't say he looks the type, but whatever it was, whatever it was was going on with this dude. I mean, of course, you know, our Lord and Savior is going to, you know, serve him when he goes at the pearly gates. Of course, you know, he's not getting in. And uh, his brother definitely kind of went out like a hero by protecting his wife and making sure she was out of harm's way because he shot the wife, shot the wife, and then later in the video, like I said, the video, there's more there's more to this because the body cam footage was turned on, and, of course, uh, I'm, I'm looking at YouTube guidelines as far as what, what I can play, you know, because last time, you know, when something controversial like this, you know, YouTube got into their little pinsy and, you know, kind of like said, no, nah, we, we, we don't want you showing this. But the news is showing it, though. The news is showing it. But this is crazy, man. That's why I said sometimes you just don't know what people be going through in life. And that goes that goes with truck drivers as well. That goes as truck drivers as well, man. I mean, you, you don't know what we be going through in life. I mean, we, we go through so much stress out here that one thing, one little thing will set us off. And it's been proven time and time and time again that, you know, truck drivers tend to snap. Like you, uh, you keep poking, you, you, you keep poking that bull and thinking that bull is not going to do anything. Eventually, that bull is going to do something. People's mental state is just messed up these days. And from what I heard, he was over here talking to his bank or something like that. Was I, I guess he had time to make a phone call to the bank. Like, yo, um, I'm going to need to make a withdrawal. <laughs> My account number is such and such and such and such. <laughs> I mean, this dude had time to call the bank, go back out to the truck after he uh, unalived his brother, go back out to the truck, come back with a shotgun and some shotgun shells to come in there to unalive his wife. And not only that, set the house on fire fire like this dude must have been festering all this hate towards his brother for years this is a classic you know like they said before like classic Cain and Abel tale where Cain killed his brother and this dude what jealousy maybe you know maybe the you know maybe they was growing up the moms or the you know the moms and pops you know made made the other kid the favorite kid and made this kid the problem child drivers i don't know tell me what you guys thoughts on this man like real this, this is real this happens this is what's going on right now this is what's going on right now he could be a truck driver could be we don't know we don't know the status of his uh of his employment maybe he's retired maybe he's just Maybe he was just at home and just and, and just life just build up in his head like yo it's it's time to do something let me go and see my moms, but I'm I'm just glad, and I, you know and and damn prayful that 
the moms was not there. I'm just glad that she wasn't there. Imagine what she's going through right now after finding out her 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 son killed his brother. And 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 imagine what she's thinking about like yo if I was there what he would have he he would have unalived me as well. <sighs> Drivers it's a crazy world we're living in right now. We, I mean, world as as students beating up teachers, uh, kids going to school, shooting out schools, you know, drivers, you know, doing the things they doing. You just, like I said, man, it's I, it's just best to just stay to yourself <laughs> and don't don't mess with these people, man. Just just let it go. Let it Thinking of a master plan Cause ain't nothing but sweat inside my hands So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent Dig deeper, still coming up with lens So I start my mission, leave my residence Thinking how could I get some dead presidents I need money, I used to be a stick-up kid So I think of all the devious things I did Used to roll up, this is a hold up Nothing funny, stop smiling, we still